What is up, it's your boy JNW Boss in the building. We are back here for another episode of All Out Revolution. With about three episodes to go until breaking boundaries, we are right here in Honolulu, Hawaii. For this upcoming episode, let's run down some of the matches. First, we have Brandino representing Top Clap Warrior taking on Nick Carter in singles action. Nick Carter been trying to find himself in Brandino. Need to kind of recover off of his uh, unsuccessful attempt at winning the gauntlet match. So who's going to come out with the victor there? And then speaking of uh, people that need a victory, Kaden Miles is looking to get back on his horse after losing the global championship to Brian Dexter. But how is he going to do tonight when he faces Brandon? This should be an interesting contest between these two guys. Both guys got a lot that they need to gain from winning this match up here. And ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna kick things off apparently with Mr. RJ Miles. He's not in a he's not in a match tonight, but apparently he got some stuff that he wants to, you know, kind of get off his chest here. So I guess we're about to figure out what's on the mind of Mr. RJ Miles. I mean we know this guy hasn't really been the same since since, since losing the AOR World Championship several weeks ago to, to Jack and Wade and RJ Miles have really kind of been on the hunt to take out Jack and Wade and take out Nate Shield and he likely was in a match against Nate Shield in our in our main event and lost to Nate Shield even though Jack and Wade did try to get involved in that situation RJ Miles you know talk about a guy who you know, on that road to recover. Talk about RJ Miles, the guy who definitely got everything it takes to, you know, to climb back to the top of that mountain again. But the problem is, unless somebody takes that world championship off of Jackson Wade, you know, RJ is, you know, unable to challenge for it. But then again, it could be a blessing in the sky because if RJ gets drafted, which will be taking place after breaking boundaries, and he can challenge for a world title and get him, you know, and get himself right back up there. So I guess we'll see how the draft turns out. That will be taking place after. Breaking boundary, but what's on the mind of RJ Miles here tonight, though? I'm only out here for one man, and I got one mission in mind. Jackson Wade, you set me up, you jumped me, and you robbed me of my AOR World Championship. And the reason, Jack, that I've been going after you and Nate both is because the way I see it, is Jackson, I was not going to stop until I take you out and prevent and make sure that you have to relinquish that world championship. And Nate, honestly, man, it was just to provoke you. <laughs> just to provoke you. That way I could potentially end up in that match as well for the world championship. But since that ain't going to happen, how about Jackson, you face me man to man and come out here right now. Well, RJ Miles is making the challenge, calling out Jackson Wade. It's Jackson about to enter the challenge. RJ ready to rock and roll. Wait. Well, the music is not that of Jackson Wade. It's actually that of our global champion. Our brand new global champion, mind you. It's a Brian Dexter. Brian Dexter making his way down to the ring here and I mean, what the world does the global champion want with RJ Miles here? I mean, I get it. I mean, well, actually, I don't get it. That's why I'm asking the question. I don't get it. What the world is Brian Dexter doing out here? I mean, but Brian Dexter, I mean, to his own credit, has definitely made a real quick, powerful impact. Just about let them 10 matches in is already a global champion. Beat Alex on the last episode of All Out Revolution. Now he's confronting RJ Miles. And what the world? He's out here. RJ, you're absolutely right. Jackson absolutely have been avoiding you. Jackson is secretly afraid of what you're able to do. And I feel that Jackson Wade does not represent what a champion should be. A champion should take on all challenges, whoever they may be. And so RJ, competitor to competitor, man to man, I know I'm not Jackson Wade, but I want to issue you a challenge right here, right now, for this AOR Global Champion. All right, let's go. Brian, don't come out here and play that sympathy card with me. Like you're able to relate with me. Brian, you know absolutely nothing of what it's like to lose 
everything that you worked hard for. You see, I've been a former AOR World Champion. I was a former XTV World Champion. I was a former NBW Intercontinental Champion and the longest one in that company's history. And yet you come in three matches in, all of a sudden you win a global championship and you think you're on top of the world, man? No, that's not how it is. So as far as your challenge tonight, you can keep that second tier title. Because mm. I'm going for the big gun. RJ, I, I think I realize what it is. While I do absolutely empathize with what happened with you and Jackson Wade, I think what is happening now is you're fearful, RJ. You're fearful of what happens if I get in this ring and I lose another match. What happens if I can't get back to the top to become the AOR World Champion again? And I think the reason you decline my challenge right now is what happens if I lose to this new kid mm. who's had less matches than me but has already made a pretty big impact for himself. Now wait a second, where do you who do you think you're talking to, man? Who do you think you're talking to? I'm not fearful of you. I'm not fearful of anyone that I step in this ring with. I believe I can beat absolutely anybody that steps into the ring with me. See, I don't care about your accolades. I don't care about your accolade because you're right. <laughs> You're right. You're not worth the time nor the energy. And if I want to take that global championship from you, trust me, I will. But tonight won't be that night. Well, what's stopping you then? Hmm? What's really stopping you, RJ? I mean, you're in such a fighting mood. You got so much rage, anger about you. What is it? You're afraid that another championship is going to slip through your fingers? Is that what it is? You know what, kid? You talk a lot. You talk a whole lot. And you know what? Yeah, I'm in a pretty fighting mood. And I was going to let you slide, but after you coming out here sitting there thinking you bored and that you got it all together, that you the man, I think I need to show you where your place is. Mm. And I'm going to start by taking that global championship. So as far as your challenge right here, right now, you give that referee that belt. You're on. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Here we go. Here we go. Both got backing up into a corner. I, I think we're about to get it on. We're about to have a global championship match right here, right now. Here we go. I mean, well, Brian came out and, I mean, he, 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 he the man. He, he did the thing. He said they were going to be a fighting champion, and clearly... That's the case here. Offer RJ the chance of the global championship. RJ playing that disrespect card to Brian Dexter. And we're going to kick things off with a global championship match right here, right now. Well, here we go. RJ Miles versus Brian Dexter apparently now for the global championship. Here we go. And as this matchup gets underway. Oh, goodness. Again, this is JNW Boss. I'd like to welcome you guys to another edition of All Out Revolution right here in Honolulu, Hawaii. It's been a good, you know, been a good trip. I got my wine shirt off of this. Yeah, you know what it is. But with three episodes out from Breaking Down, I would like to say if you enjoy, if you enjoy what you see, if you sure to click the like, comment, and subscribe, and also click the bell icon. That way you don't miss another AOA or AWAR TNA upload. We already got the draft coming up, the action draft. Taking place after breaking boundary. That's going to be off the hook as well. Going to be a two-night event. All out action. It's going to uh, or all out revolution actually. Going to start first picking picking their superstar to come to AOA. Then AOA going to reciprocate the favor. Oh, oh, wow! Close line sending them over the top, and RJ Miles now is in a big time trouble here. He was doing all this smack talking. To Brian Dexter. And Brian, he may have he may have he may have gotten under his skin. He may have proved him. He may have a point here. He may Oh what a slap across the face. What a slap across the face and clearing him outside the ring again. Brian is at this point not playing that disrespect game and kind of getting in the referee there saying, hey, yo, count this thing. And Brian Dexter, he's uh, gonna follow through here on RJ Miles. And, oh man. Flex right there. You know the world champion is in the house. RJ Miles was calling out Jackson Wade. 
with our AOR World Champion. He is in the building, from all accounts. They man, top class warriors are all in the building. So it's, it's oh man. I don't know anything about those guys. Expect them to you know, definitely you know, do something. You know, keep an eye out for those guys. They, they like to just get met for no reason. And Brian Dexter now sending R.J. Miles back on the inside of the ring, and R.J. Miles. A former world champion, two-time world champion, and intercontinental champion getting taken to school here on the part by uh, uh, Brian Decker. But wait a second, RJ Miles able to find a footing. Here we go, look at this. Hurricane Rana to the outside. Beautiful work there from RJ, turning this matchup around. RJ Miles now going to the top rope, going to use his athleticism here to try to take out Brian Dexter. And look at RJ Miles flying head to head. Crashing head to head with Brian Dexter. We ran a count of two. Now restart, but talk about a way to turn things around if you're RJ crashing, even though he kind of crashed head to head with this big dude. I don't know how good that was. And Brian Dexter, though, able to catch RJ Miles out of midair in a fall away slam. Brian Dexter is looking great here. And I'm telling you, talk about a guy that got all, got, got, got everything it takes. To be a tremendous, tremendous competitor. Oh, what an uppercut. Absolutely driving RJ Miles right into the match, straight into the cover here. And they kick out at two from RJ Miles. And, and, and you got a question. And you got a question. Did, did, is Brian Dexter correct? I mean, RJ got pretty defensive when, you know, when, 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 you know Brian was saying what he was saying. So. So is Brian actually correct? Wasn't Brian able to kind of, you know, kind of, kind of relate to RJ in a way that, you know, in, in a way that RJ was not expecting? I mean, because RJ did try to kind of big lead the guy, try to discount the dude's intelligence, discount the dude's accolades and stuff. But clearly, Brian is showing. Well, maybe not under the moment when he's getting. RJ is getting some offense in, but Brian has been showing since the start of this match that he can hang in there with the likes of an RJ Miles, who is a former world champion in his own right. A little second to RJ. One up top. This shooting star press, beautiful. The height, the elevation, and the landing down to Brian Dexter straight into a cover here. And oh, took out at two. RJ Miles is still. Gaining miles and hopefully to ride this match on home to a victory. Leave me alone, okay? <laughs> yeah, the tried pun. Did it work? I don't know. Y'all be the judge. Whatever. Anyways, RJ Miles. Great counter from Brian. Great counter from RJ. Over to the corner. Here we go. Some move become your best friend of this drop kick of it. Remind me of those people that play Mortal Kombat, constantly spamming them leg sweep, but hey, if it's gonna lead to some more offense, which I think it's about to, and I'm perfectly alright with it. Mile long ride. Oh, the counter. He ain't ready to go on the trip yet. He ain't got his backpack, none of that. Oh, that was, he was dropping him on the back of his head and neck. Calling it quit, homie. Calling it quit, homie. Look at this! Oh! Rolled him across the ring, but his neck against the bottom rope. Man! Got him up over his shoulder. That five, baby! Put them down, straight into the cover. That might be a wrap for Brian Dexter, and it is not. That is not it for Brian Dexter. Trying to set him up. Brian feels like he got one more. He got one more in him. He can bring it home right here. Oh, great counter from RJ. You two been bringing it in the opening bell. Especially given, especially given that how, how aggressive RJ came at Brian when the match started, but uh, that didn't work out for him. But now, he's been getting them offense. He's been doing his thing. This may work out tremendously for him. Hurricane Brian again. It seems that Brian has not had an answer to that drop kick all match long. Ooh, right back out by there from RJ. Bring right back in the ring here, RJ Miles. Now on a roll, RJ going to the top. I'll call him up to his feet again. He might be on to something this time. First time it didn't work, that time it worked like a charm. Second cross, body connect. And RJ, all right bro, you're getting a bit cocky, but you almost got pinned already. 
Oh, they turned up with something there at Kwon. Wait a minute. RJ, look at that. RJ, dumping him right on his neck, man. Beautiful work on the part of RJ, dumping, dumping Brian right on the top of his head and neck. And now I think RJ getting that confidence back. He got his swag back, if you know what I'm saying. Drives on their feet here. RJ Mile, Mile long ride to end it. Got it, wait a second, it's Jackson Wade. They're Jackson Wade in the boot to the face. Absolutely driving down RJ Mile. And Jackson Wade now just clearing the ring of Brian Dexter. I knew the AMR World Champ was in the house. I had a feeling we're going to do something crazy up in here. And R and Jackson Wade clearly heard the response of RJ Miles. I mean, Edward, why else would he be, he'd be doing this here? He clearly heard RJ. So what the heck he ain't come out here for you, punk? You're the world champion. And ever since you won this world championship, you've been ducking this dude. I agree with Brian and RJ on that. Oh! And this assault just continues. RJ Mile, Brian Dexter still laid out over there on the floor. And Jackson Wade just kicking the day life out of RJ Mile here. And RJ did call him out, and clearly Jackson heard it. In fact, he didn't want to come out here, gonna show himself a man he is, you know what? God. I mean, I get it. You're, he's a dominant world champion. I get it. But like the... Oh, wait, Nate. Yo, Jackson. Nate. Leave it to you to attack somebody from behind. So how about, since you're in a fighting mood, how about I pose this challenge to you? How about you get two of your top class warrior get goons, whatever. I'll get Nate, and we can meet y'all in a three-on-two handicap match later tonight. Well, but also, how about this? How about we don't wait till breaking boundary? Heck, how about we don't even wait till tonight's main event? How about you come back here and we can settle what we got to settle right now? Oh, wait a minute, Larger. Wait a second, Nate Shields laying out the challenge. And Jackson said, all right, cool. You want to fight right now? I'm going to oblige. And wait a second, somebody coming through the crowd. There's Alex. Alex is coming through the crowd, and we heard Alex say earlier in the week, that this is, good, this is not over between him and, and Brian Decker. What a brain buster on the floor. What a wild start this has been. Who all out revolution. Wait a second. No, 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 no. Alex grabbing the. Alex is, is grabbing the steel chair. Oh, no, no. Come on. Come on. Come on now. Chill. Still enough with it. Oh! Jordan Alec with a steel chair repeatedly into the rim of Brian Dexter. And wait a second, Brandon! It's Brandon! Alec, the former tag team partner, jumping in, making the save and clearing the ring of Alec. Brandon coming in clutch at that moment. You can only imagine. What Alec would have done to Brian Dexter. Oh, 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 Alec got another steel chair. Brandon got his eyes on him now. Brandon got his eyes on him. Brent, Brian is coming too. And Brandon got a matchup next. And Alec for the moment. You thinking about it. Come on, bro. You're going to get you on your frog here. No. Nope. I'm gonna go up the ramp for now. We're gonna get the better part about him. He has to even jump somebody from behind. And from all accounts, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the fight is on between Nate and Jackson in the back. We're gonna have to. We're gonna cut to those guys at some point. But for right now, we got to stay right here. Cabrera's in the matchup right now against the former global champion, Caden Miles, and Caden Miles not even wasting time. We're gonna run out to the ring. It looks like Brian's gonna hang out here at ringside for this one. And wait a minute, oh! Caden Miles getting the jump on Brandon here. Caden Miles is, is pretty living after losing the global championship, clearly. And it's gonna continue, and it's gonna proceed in part to take that anger and aggression out. Oh, Brandon here. Oh. 
Going right to the barricade and going right here first. Right to the steel step. Oh, and again. I mean, Kane and Mile putting them, putting them steps to good use. It is now cliche. Live with live. I'm not the fact. I'm not the fact. The Captain Obvious. Anyway. Also pretty obvious that Caden Miles is absolutely snapped here. On Brandon. That losing that global championship with everything to him. Him that if him, him you know losing that global championship meant that you know that, that kind of it, it ruined him. It kind of it, I mean good it broke the dude. Look at him man. Now, wait a minute. Man, they not been able to get a get a house of offense in yet. And then Kaden Miles, and I really feel the downfall of Kaden Miles began around the time the World lot thing was kicking off. And because of the week prior to World lot he lost to he lost to Brian Decker and things like that. And he goes to the World lot and he gets embarrassed by Dino Man of all people. I don't know how to feel about that in a day, but whatever. And then uh, just about a week after that, he loses the global championship. So, they can say, Caden has been on a bit of a downhill spiral as of late. And you can say it all started to that loss, to a non-title loss, to Mr. Brian Dexter right over there. And Caden Miles again, going to do what he can to take out his anger, take out his frustration on everybody. And stand in his way. Throw Brandon off to another corner and double knees again. And Brandon is in a heap of trouble, but wait a minute, look at him. Great counter from Brandon, nice arm drag. And then you got a, oh, man, well. It often didn't last long, geez. Where the lights and place the truck that hit me, man? Goodness. Random clean over now, and, and the power bomb by Caden. Violent, a violent power ball from Caden is all together too. And wait a minute, dropping the knee right to the head, and, and Brian Dexter is and Brian Dexter is looking all Brandon's in trouble here. We need to get some type of some type of going. I'm really trying to turn this one around. For, for Brandon, wait, there we go. They were cheering Brandon, trying to get him, trying to get him, you know, trying to get him going here. They got him going. Brandon finally getting the offense in. And wait a minute. Get him up. Get him through. Beautiful work. Brandon try to show the he's a walking evolution. A walking progress. You know, he got accused a lot of his career of being, you know, real complacent, real stuck in his wave. And maybe that beat down that Alley gave Brandon that last day and really turned things around. For Brandon, and wait a minute, the Brandon, hold on, my dude, Brandon, let me, let me tell you something, man. I get you're trying to diversify your moves there, I absolutely do, but I don't want you to ever use the stupid overdrive ever again, do anything else, just not the stupid overdrive, whoa, well, he ain't doing the stupid overdrive, so I'll take that. Cross body then and him and came to the outside. I'm sorry, that was driving like one of the dumb moves in, in the broken car idiot. Brandon, you're gonna diversify your move with anything. Do not use the overdrive ever again. Thank you very much. But I'm okay with everything else. Keep putting in work, Brandon. I'm proud of you. You have come a long way, man. You have come a long way from the clown of AOA season one. And you are becoming a man. You are wrestling like a man here. Yeah, hit the drop kick, yeah. Hit the drop kick, man. I'm proud of it. Drop kick. Didn't Kaden Miles and almost had it. Well, not even close. No, no, I had a lot of one time. I'm, I'm trying to put the dude over on a good leg and kind of bear it the mess out of him before. Anyway, look at him. Oh, great counter there from, from Kaden Miles here. And flip some through and look at that. That's athleticism. He strike. Look at him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm finally able to get behind Brandon. He doesn't look like a joke. He's wrestling like he's got some skill. This is what I'm talking about. Get that overdrive out of your arsenal and you'll be okay. Elbow drop off the top rope. Brandon, they have it here. No, it is not.
I'm, I'm absolutely happy with what I'm seeing here. Brandon seems to finally, at long last, to, to step up his game, to turn his career around, to finally make himself, you know, not look like look like a joke how he was back in episode one. This is the definition of a walking evolution, and I'm completely okay with the work that Brandon has been putting in. Now if he can beat Kaden Miles, that'd be a great start. Take them out. Get this. Oh, beautiful. Look at this dude doing flame shots and stuff. Yeah. Maybe because he's just been a bit of like Brand being Brandon in the ring. Because last time he was in the ring, he was in the match, he was in the match against Brian Dexter. I hope he kind of formed a mutual respect off of the victory there. Look at Brandon putting him on. Get him off and kind of getting outclassed here. Come on, man. Don't let the dude outclass you. Uh oh. Oh, dropping him on his neck. Now he goes. Pointing over to that corner. He got something in mind here. He got to he's about to see what the dude do. What is the man doing? There we go. What the? Oh, good. What a shot from Brandon. And Kaden Miles is in trouble. Get this wolf kick in his sight. I didn't name it, he did. Wolf kick, let me see. And K oh, wait a minute, Austin Kazarian. Austin Kazarian getting involved in this one. But I like the point that Brandon got. He's been okay. That's perfectly fine. I think it hit Kaden Miles with something else here. That's perfectly fine. Here we go. Oh, that time Kaden saw it coming. Kaden with a shot to the rim. Kaden with a shot to the rim. All into the corner. Oh, no. Oh, he was in the thing about that choke left backbreaker. Brandon counted it again. Brandon counted it again. Get them up over his shoulder. Drop them down on the back of the head. Brandon might actually pick up a win. Brandon is about to pick up a win over a former champion. Hold on. Oh, he tried it. Oh, he tried it. Kaden counted it. Oh, oh, goodness. Rob him now. That might be a rapper. Oh, wait a minute. He kicked out. Brandon kicking out. Kaden do feel confident. I don't blame him. Oh, now look at that. Oh, man, oh, look at that. He's feeling a bit too confident now. Oh, wait a second, Brandon. Able to counter. Got him up over his head again. Harry Crash. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wolf kick again. Bingo. Caught him dead on. Now going to do a smart thing. Drag him away from the road. That, 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 that dude's limp. He's out. He's out. And Brandon picking up the win over Caden Miles. Here's your winner, Brandon. The moment you lose to, to Caden Miles, or the moment you lose to Brandon, I really feel you gotta start re What the world? Wait, life without. Oh, what the? What the? The heck? Life went out. Lights went up, Brian Dexter just got blasted with a steel chair, and oh, on the inside of the ring, and that's Draven. That's, that's Draven. That's got to, oh, man. Face playing him, and, and Draven, and uh, now we've got, what the, where, where does it do? How did, teleport the heck up out of here, and wait a second, it seems that we got cameras, Take you to the back and then Brian Decker's trying to figure out what the world just happened. Yeah. And wait a second, there's Jackson Wade and Nate Shield. Uh, oh! Throw them right into the, the, the crate now. Great birth. Right into the box and, and Nate did challenge. Yeah. Jackson for a fight and here we go. Well now we're catching up with it anyway. Kick to the rip in the mid-second. Seemed like security had these guys separated for a moment, but they then decided to come out here to the parking lot. And man, Mato Imano, handle what you gotta handle, partner. And from all accounts, also. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah. Oh! Hmm. 
All right, cool. All right, so from all accounts, the handicap match is going to be on for our main event. So in our main event, it will be Nate uh. Shields and Dwayne Frawford. The oh, Jackson Wade and two members of Top Class Warriors. So that match is official. But I don't think either of these two guys are going to make it there uh. 100%, especially Jackson Wade. Look at that. To the asylum. Driving Jackson Wade on his head. And back at his neck and his spine and all that crashing into that concrete floor. Wow. What a what a start. The following contest is scheduled for one more shooter than first. Look at the name Top Class Warrior from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 220 pounds. Brandino. Well, Brandino. And a representative knob class warriors here tonight in singles action against uh against Nick Carter. And I'm guessing by process of elimination here, that will potentially mean that it's gonna be Nate and Dwayne taking on the uh, team of Jackson Wade and more than likely Johnny Evil and Simon Ortiz in our main event. But then again, we don't know how top class warriors like to run things, so who knows? They may have Brandon out there Brandino out there again. It's going to be a wild main event and what a wild start we have had. An all-out revolution just back to back to back of absolute anarchy taking place here. And here comes Nick Carter. I got a guy who I, I definitely believe in, but you got to start backing Man, it up inside that ring. From Dayton, Ohio. Weighing in at 213 pounds, Nick Carter. Here comes the guy that was saying I absolutely believe in, but... You got to start making a count inside this ring. I mean, I can't recall the last time Nick Carter won a match. Actually, no. I can't. Last time I won a match was in his debut. Other than that, Nick Carter has really been, um, I hate to say it, on a massive losing streak. And he needs to turn this around somehow, some way, some day. Because uh, apparently the rumor mill is if Nick Carter um, doesn't win. Uh, they're going to win something coming up soon. His, uh, his uh, contract is going to be um, reevaluated. All I'm going to be able to say is all I'm legally allowed to say here. So, uh, Carter is in this uh, situation where he needs to kind of start, you know, pulling, you know, pulling his weight, picking up a win. You know, I mean, we get it. Not everybody, you know, is going to, going to, you know, be a world champion. Not everybody, you know, is going to, going to make it to that level. But you know. Even guys like Dexter, even when they were struggling, they were still able to you know, pick up a win here. So let's see how Nick Carter does. It's, it's right now, oh, pretty good for him. Big back trip there, taking him out. Now Nick Carter kind of feeling a little bit confident here. Brandino kind of going to go in for a clothesline, and Nick Carter was able to duck that and catch uh, Brandino with a kick here. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that great combination over and over. Absolutely peppering Brandino here. We're going to send him off into the rope. German soup like no great counter from Brandino. Here's a work. We're going to send Nick Carter off into the rope. Here we go. I mean, this is the type of action I like here. Two young guys talking about a guy that got a lot to prove. Oh! Now they still got a lot to give, a lot in the tank. Pretty young here in their career. Looking to make the most of it. You got Brandino up in the top class Warriors. I don't know really how uh, that's the best career move overall for him, especially, you know, if he starts, you know, doing crazy outlandish stuff, you know, potentially irritate management, but, you know, that's a, a different story for a different day and a boot right to the mouth. I don't think Nick Carter coming out here to play. I can promise you that. Back elbow. And, yes, Nick Carter is aware of his, uh, his uh, potential contract situation here. So he talk, so talk about a guy that needs to he needs to turn it up pronto. That's it. And I think Nick Carter is about to go ahead and turn up the intensity a bit in this matchup. Here we go. Off the rope. Getting a little pep in his step and flying through the air. Beautiful work by Nick Carter. And now Nick Carter going to go up to the top rope here. Here we go. He's on one tonight. Oh, double foot stomp right to the rim. Crashing down. He's talking about knocking the wind out of you. If you are, if you are, you know, Brandino here. Brandino barely getting up to his feet. Nick Carter going to roll through. 
and drive a face first right to the mat, straight into the cover here. Nick Carter might have a win, and no, he did not. Nick Carter almost had it. Nick Carter getting a little bit frustrated. Back elbow. Ooh, after the rib, kicked to the rib again. Nick Carter, he's on a roll. Like with the folk, he got it. Having less air time to do it, so the fact that he was still able to get that moonsault off and then press the forearm right to the face. And I, and I, and I really, and, and the thing is, about Nick Carter, I like the guy. I really like the guy, and I want to see, wait a second, Pope Handle X Factor. Yo, you're dealing with the X Factor. But, at least we actually like this dude. We don't want him to get him off our TV screen. But a kick out at two by Bernie. Some of y'all get it. Xbox heat. If you don't get it, look it up. Anyway, Nick Carter. Striking away on Brandon. Almost won that match with that pump handle. X Factor. Oh, good. Well, what a turnaround if you're Brandino right there. Off of him high up in there. Flap jacket. We get him rolling through. Sitting there saying, yo, I can match that. And there we go. Oh! And Brandino going to go ahead and hit him with a clap back. Anyway, down he goes. I'm trying to lighten up on the commentary. Right? Kick right to the back by Brandino. Brandino putting in work here on Nick Carter. Oh, beautiful combination immediately into a heel kick. And I, and, and I, I have to ask this too. Brandino, he's coming to this match with a little bit of purpose as well. Because apparently he, uh, he needs to start pulling his weight in top class warrior. I mean, because you got, you got, oh man. And apparently rumor, rumor mill is, is uh, Brandino needs to start pulling his weight here in top class warrior. I mean, you got Jackson Wade, who's the world champion. You got Simon Ortiz. And Johnny Evil at the AOA Tag Team Champion. You got, well, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, apparently the rumor mill is Jackson Wade wants Madison and Brandino to start pulling their weight and start showing why they were chosen to be in the group. And I guess I mean start by winning some matches here. Winning matches, doing what you can do. Brent do a cover here off the move. So what a move he can do. And, Kick out at two from Brandino. Nick Carter getting a bit frustrated. So both guys got something to prove. Brandino got to prove that he still belongs in top class warriors. That he can still be considered a top class warrior. And Nick Carter got to prove that, hey, he can be a winner in this thing. That's what I'm talking about. Two guys that got something to prove. And, and both guys are doing what they got to do right now. And these two are putting on a, putting on a, a great contest here. Oh! And then I'm putting him down. We're right to the back here. Ooh, look for him right to the face there. And Brandino for him again. Look at that Tiger suit like dumping him right on his head. Really wearing down the head and neck. You know, we're probably going to think about that Eagles landing if he, if he can get it. And Carter is a little close to the rope there. That's why he wasn't able to make that happen. Wait a minute, look at that. Oh! Beautiful job working on the leg. Gonna wear him down here. Now proceeding. To wear down Nick Carter. That's the missing hole locked in and referee kind of looking eye to eye with Brandon and then I'm looking at Nick and it looks like he's tapping out on the leg of Brandon, but I'm guessing he's still fighting in this one referee. No one doesn't consider that a tap and Nick Carter. Look at this. Oh, great counter there from great counter there from Nick. Oh, but immediately that lariat, that leg lariat coming back to play, coming back into play here for Brandino. Talk about a move that's been able to get Brandino out of a lot of tight situations. Brain Buster, that might be a wrap for this dude. Brain Buster connects and a kick out at two from Nick, but barely getting the shoulder up if you're Nick Carter. I mean, with your potential contract being in question here. You gotta do what you can. Leap for I uh, but dang it. Oh, wait, Carter showing off that living with him too. I was about to say I kinda hate when he does that, and then he starts getting full of himself, and then he takes his out of surprise, but 
He was ready for Nick Carter. He was ready when he turned around and caught him good. Robbing him down. Ready to do a cover here. Not a bad look if you're, if you're Brandino. Ready to do a cover that might be a rapid mode if not. Brandino trying to, trying to put on for the set as you may say. <laughs> Flatliner. Look at that TCW, Drop Flash Warrior. And I gotta say, Drop, drop, drop Flash Warrior, admittedly, they didn't pick bad when they picked Brandino. I don't like the way they went about it. They didn't pick bad when they picked Brandino here. Because they do clearly got skills, they do clearly got talent, they do clearly got athleticism. Crowd behind their feet, Nick Carter back up to his feet. Look at that, Brandino trying to go for like a flying elbow. Didn't really work out for him, got him up overhead. What the world, look at that, cradle shot, beautiful work. From Nick Carter. Catching the midair. Knee to the gut, pump it into the factor to put it away this time. Oh, flips out in the back, flips out in the back, Brandino. Got him up. Brain Buster for like a third or fourth time in this match for this dude. And now we got some distance. Now we got a bit of draw distance on it. Here we go. Eagle land. Draw distance. Found his target. Eagle landing connect. And Brandino. Picking up the win. Talk about two guys that were hitting at the top of their A game. Here's your winner, Brandino. Talk about two guys that were hitting at the top of their A game, Brandino and Nick Carter. The two of those men. Then, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, Brandino, I don't think he finished here. I don't think he finished. The Eagles landing again. Out on the floor. Throwing back in the ring here. I mean, how much? What, what, what in the world is Brandino? Oh no, Brandino got a steel chair. Brandino got a steel chair. Oh, right to the knee. Oh, that destroying the knee and destroying the rib of Nick Carter. And Brandino. Oh, man. Brandino wins tonight. And as I mentioned, Brandino needs to kind of. In, oh, goodness, in the mind of Top Flat Warrior Proof. Why he's in the group, and I guess this is just another part of that Eagles landing again. And Nick Carter absolutely getting battered out here. Yo, we need to get some help for this dude. Pronto. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Brandino with the, oh, with a steel step right to the knee. Yo, we need to get some help out here. Someone help this man. Brandon, you get back out here. But someone get out here and help this man. Jeez, you know what? That's the thing I'm gonna, you know what? You know, I'm, I'm over. That's the thing I'm gonna go ahead and call out about the AOL locker real quick. You claim to be about family. You claim to fight and stand for the same thing, but yet you allow top class warriors to run wild and do this? Come on. Eagles landing again. Can we get some help out here for Nick Carter, please? Can we get some security? If some of these wrestlers don't get their tail, get, don't get, no, 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 come on now. Come on! If somebody don't get up in the back and do something! Nick Car no! No! Oh my god! No, come on! Enough is enough, man! You won the match! And if any of these wrestlers don't get up off their backside and do something! Still stepped in the head and ain't no one moved yet! Randy, you, you won the match. You won the flipping match already. You won the match. Anyone move in the back, please. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. And Nick Carter busted open. But get no, come on. He was landing again. You know, this roster should be ashamed of itself. I see, I see what the problem is. Everything, everything is so clickish around here. You help out who you want to help out. You sit back and watch something who you want to watch something. No, come on. 
No, come on. You already done all. Oh, you. He's gone. We're going to need some medical attention out here for Nick Carter. Rock to absolutely be ashamed of himself. Ridiculous. Hey, hey Carmen. Hope you're ready. Hope you're ready for your opponent because after the junk you were talking, they're ready for you. And you see, Carmen, tonight I think you're about to learn a great lesson on why you don't open your mouth about everybody. I think you're about to learn a great lesson tonight on why you don't underestimate anyone. So tonight, all I'm going to say is good luck to you. Well, let me tell you something, Gloria. I don't need your luck. I didn't need your luck. I didn't need anyone's luck to win this women's championship. In fact, there's a reason why no one has beaten me for that championship yet. I don't care who you got. Just know... That what I do to them tonight, I ain't even gonna be half of what I do to you at breaking down. The cockiness that is exuding from the women's champion is um pretty high. Following contest with Sidney Floyd Young Farm, introducing first from Tampa, Florida. He is the All Out Revolution Women's Champion, Carmen. Carmen, the Women's Champion, a little bit calmer now, but All Out Revolution Women's Champion Carmen is going to be in single action. As Gloria was kind of indicating uh, against an opponent of her choosing of Glory. And even what Carmen was running her mouth about, kind of calling out AOA women champion Carolyn Amber to be going to fight out in the parking lot. I really wonder what's about to go down. Because if you're Carmen, you really don't want to mess around and, and take your focus off of the fact that you do got to think Gloria for that women championship of breaking boundaries. I can promise you that much. And, And to say I think Carolyn accepted the challenge would be an understatement. And to say I think Carolyn accepted that little challenge is a bit of an understatement. Because this is the music of one Carolyn Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And introducing the opponent from the altar of society. Carolyn Amber. Okay, let Amber wait no time and Well <laughs> She said she wanted Carmen to square off. Carmen wanted wanted to square up and here we go. We didn't even got waiting for breaking boundaries for this one. And Carolyn ain't even in a wrestling gift, so you know she's just running the fight, man. And, oh! Amber Amber right into the ring, bro. And Carol oh. I'm telling you. You talk all this stuff, you're gonna wind up getting hit, I promise you. And Carmen getting the upper edge here. Ooh, check right there, the face there dropping. Absolutely dropping Carolyn in, but Carolyn firing back here. And Carolyn clearly, as mentioned before, not in a wrestling gear. Lily just wants to fight, Lily just wants to hurt Carmen. And I don't know if Carmen really was ready for this. I don't know if Carmen was expecting this. I don't think he was. I don't think you expect her to reply right now, anyways. And Carmen now getting in the ring. And if Carmen having actual wrestling here on, she may have a little bit of an advantage here. <laughs> and Carmen kind of not wanting to get this matchup started. Yeah, broke Carolyn back inside the ring, and the matchup is underway. Yeah, Carmen's just stomping out Carolyn because he wasn't ready for this. Big form though from Carolyn. Carolyn just throwing hands, she ain't even about to worry about the jack, she ain't about to worry about what she got on right now. The only thing she's gonna do is, is, is step up and prove what she thinks she's gonna do. That make Carmen 
Fade away. We're going to see how well that works out for Mitch Carolyn Amber. Especially since she got the chance to do that here in this matchup. And Carmen flipping to the outside of the ring. And Carolyn going to follow suit. Not even worry about doing cover the none of that stuff. They're going to continue to take the fight to the AOR Women's Champion. And Carolyn Amber got the date with Destiny in her own right. Because that breaking boundary. She will be facing Miss Wilcox with the all out for the all out action, sorry. With the championship and Carmen just got planted on that concrete floor. And they're getting stomped out here. Oh! Gonna win like four. Gonna drop it down. We're gonna got a six. And I'm telling you, Carolyn did not care about fight. Wait a second. Oh, wait a second, Carolyn. Carmen turning things around. It's the GPS from Carmen. The GTS by Carmen and Carmen slipping back on the inside of the ring. Referee in the count of eight. Carolyn yeah, knocked out over there. And Carmen wins this thing via count. I'm talking about dodging a challenge if you're calm. So much confidence, but when the problem is looking at you dead in the face, you don't want nothing to do. With Carmen. Carmen. Escapes this matchup. Straight up. And she moves on to breaking boundaries here. And I think Carolyn making her way back to her feet. And yes, she is. She's, <laughs> she made her way back to her feet. And, and Carmen's kind of stopped right where she was. And, and uh, I don't think Carolyn finished here. I don't think Carolyn had finished. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute, Carolyn going after Carmen. Carolyn going after Carmen. Carmen dipping to the outside of the ring. And Carmen now ducking. Ducking and dodging here. And it looks like we got some. We got some heated tension there. I think we got some unfinished business to take care of between these two. They still might throw down a breaking mountain. I'm down with it. Beautiful and cracking Brian hit him with a steel chair, but it was good enough. You see, Brandon, next week we dance. We dance the night away. And it's gonna be lovely hearing you learn, scream in agony what I do to you, and knowing that Alec. My pupil and your former tag team partner will be watching in awe and amazement. It's going to make it even better. So, Brandon, next week, I make my debut. And we see the last performance of your career. Brandon, let's dance. <laughs> What a, what a weird dude. We will be Draven versus Brandon next week, but ladies and gentlemen, we are about three episodes out from AOA Breaking Mounders. We will be a joint production of All Out Action and All Out Revolution, and we kind of just saw a little bit of a hint of that with Carmen and Carolyn. I think we got some unfinished business there, but we also got some business to take care of at Breaking Mounders and let's run down some of the matches here. The Twitter Disciples with the two squad up in the AOA Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Twitter Disciples that made things personal with two squad up over the past couple of weeks rendering both of them taking both of them out of action so how healthy will two squad up be when they face the twisted disciples at breaking boundaries and then we will also see for the aor tag team championships aor tag team titles on the line wolf pack with the millennium riders both teams aren't looking too hot at the moment and one of these two teams got to pull it together can wolf pack pull it together and retain and we will be leaving new york with new AOR Tag Team Champion and the Millennium Riders. It should be a clinic of a matchup. And then uh, we saw Carmen kind of tuck tail and run from Carolyn, but is she going to run from Gloria? Will she be able to? Because I think Gloria has gotten into Carmen's head. So is Gloria going to be able to use that metal edge and take that AOR Women's Championship from Carmen, or will Carmen remain at the top of the throne? And then we last woman standing things get personal here. Ashley Knight versus Chloe Sharp. Chloe threatened to come to Ashley's place of location. But fortunately Ashley wasn't in the arena brought the fight to Chloe. And again, shudder to think. 
what these two women are going to be willing to do, how far they're going to go to end this rivalry and be the last woman standing in New York City. And then these two are going to be in the main event next, but it's Nate Shields versus Jackson Wade in a 3 on 2 handicap matchup, but at breaking boundaries, it's all about the World Championship. Jackson Wade has admitted Nate is his toughest challenge to date, so can Nate climb that top of the mountain and become the World Champion, or will Jackson remain at the top of his throne? And then on the AOA side of things for breaking boundaries, Carolyn Amber, as I mentioned, will be facing Miss Wilcox for the AOA Women's Championship. Carolyn dealt with Miss Wilcox's friend on the previous episode by powerbombing her off the stage. Now, Miss Wilcox is probably going to be flying into the match solo. So does she have a plan B to retain that championship? And then it's Sean Wright one-on-one -on -one with Adrian Oxley. Sean Wright has admittedly been struggling to pick up a victory while Adrian Oxley has been on a roll Especially as the AOA United States Champion, even though this match is non-title. Can Sean Wright pick up a huge win over the United States Champion and get himself back in championship contendership? And then the AOA World Championship is on the line. Dave, who has a Hell in a Cell match in this coming AOA episode against Darren. If he survives that, he's going to have to face Mac Wolf and A2J. You don't want to underestimate A2J or Mac Wolf. But Dave has been on unstoppable. Can he retain that AOA World Championship, and then for the following two nights after breaking boundaries will be the action draft. As mentioned, a two-night event with the landscape of All Out Action and All Out Revolution will change. Superstars will be drafted, and it's going to be a crazy night. I can promise you that much. And ladies and gentlemen, with all of that out of the way, it is now time for our main event. Handicap match at Nate Shield and Dwayne Frost. Take on the team of top class warriors of Jackson Wade and whoever he decided to put involved when we, we saw Brandino of top class warriors absolutely destroyed Nick Carter and ladies and gentlemen I, I actually do have a, a medical update on, on Nick Carter. Nick Carter has been taken to a local hospital right here in, right here in Honolulu and he will also be uh, potentially transported for, uh, you know, for further testing for further uh, testing results but from my understanding here Nick Carter is actually going to be out of action for a good length of time, potentially for the next couple of months. So I think Brandino definitely earned his five here in Top Class Warriors. I wonder where those two were during that whole beatdown, but either way. These two are probably, you know, they were focused on tonight, focused on what they got to face. We saw Jackson Wade and a neat shield throw down in the parking lot. Now we're about to see how they do when they got to meet these guys face to face here. And Jack and Wade did attack RJ Miles from behind earlier tonight and got into a, a brawl with him after RJ attempted to call out Jack and Wade, but Jack and Wade didn't, didn't respond. And then he had decided to attack him right as he was about to win the global championship. Definitely a lot of, a lot to unfold there. They think that Jackson has got his hands in a, a lot of different pots here. He's cooking for a lot of different meals here. I can promise you that much. And right now he joined, as I mentioned, with Simon Evil. Not Simon Evil. Okay, I, I just put the two names together. Johnny Evil on the right. And Simon Ortiz on the left. You need a differentiator, Johnny Evil. Johnny Evil, the one with the interesting mask on. I can promise you that. And these two men, the Black Assassin, won the AOA Tag Team Championship from the team of Nate Shields and Dwayne Frog back at Onslaught. And ever since then, they've, they've kind of been holding it down. They've been holding it down. They've uh, been picking up wins over on All Out Action and All Out Revolution collectively. And these two have been kind of just sitting back and watching things play out between the Twisted Disciples and and uh and two squad up because they 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 mentioned they aren't scared of anyone in this tournament they weren't scared of anyone in the tournament and they believe that they got the, the capability to beat any team put in front of them that's why you haven't seen these two teams these two guys really get involved in anything regarding that tournament because all they're doing is just waiting on a contender that's it and the winner by the way of that tag team match at breaking mountain between the twisted disciples and two squad up will face the team of Johnny Evil and Simon Ortiz night one 
of the action draft. So will they be facing the team of the Twitter Disciples or will they be facing the team of Two Squad Up? That's the question. And Jackson Wade and his company are ready to rock and roll for this handicap matchup. Mentioned before, this is our main event here for All Out Revolution. What has been a, a very chaotic, a very wild night. And I'm sure this matchup is going to be no different. So, of course, I would like, you, I would like to say if you guys watched up to this point, thank you. And if you haven't done so already, you can do so. If you want to click the like, comment, and subscribe, and also click the bell icon. That way you don't miss another upload. And, and just like Dwayne isn't really missing with these strikes here. And catching them spot on, Jack and Wade. Yeah, but a counter on a boot, and no, oh, Jackson was ready for that one. And Jackson Wade got a lot of history with both Nate Shield and specifically with Dwayne Frost here. These two have had their battle. Definitely ever since this whole thing with TCW got started. Jackson Wade and, and Dwayne Frost have definitely had their, their altercation before. They got into a vicious parking lot brawl with left Dwayne, unfortunately, on the wrong side of things, leaving him a absolutely bloody heap and they, they fought in a street fight and Jack and Wade were able to pick up the win there so I'm sure Dwayne has been looking to score a win over you know over oh wait a second we can take him to the asylum already dropped him down the first time gonna roll through and look at this Nate Shield taking wait taking Jack and Wade to the asylum already took him there twice Took him there, he landed on the, in the, in, on the concrete floor in the parking lot earlier, and now gonna do it again. And honestly, if Top Class Warriors wasn't doing that, I, I could see that being a three, given the brawl that they were in earlier with these guys. But now, Johnny Evil and Simon O.T. jumping in, jumping in, giving, you know, giving Jack and Wade a chance to recover. They kind of needed to, at least given the fight that we saw these two get in early. Now the momentum is back in the ballpark. The top class win. It's been a very dominating night for these guys. I'm sure Jackson Wade is very impressed with what Brandino did to Nick Carter. As disgusted as I am about it. As disgusted as hopefully you guys are about it. It happened. And nobody moved. Nobody got up. No one did anything. We just sat around and let that happen. I wonder, I wonder if people get out of control tonight. Are they going to jump in? Are they going to jump in because it's, you know, two of AOR's top guys here, Nate Shield and, and Dwayne Frost, or are they going to sit in the back again? I guess we'll see. I mean, we hope, we hope Top Class Warrior doesn't, you know, doesn't resort to all that, but I guess we'll see. Straight to the cover, Jackson Wade to Nate Shield, too. And Jackson Wade able to break things up, and Simon Ortiz taking down the referee. Now wait a minute, that stupid power bomb. True discipline. Now goes Simon Ortiz. And wait a minute, Jackson Wade with a steel chair. With Dwayne Ford. Oh, taking the steel chair and using it to his advantage. Referee was incapacitated. Jackson Wade attempted to use the steel chair. Backfired right there. And now Nate got a phone control here. But wait a minute, Simon Ortiz is still in the ring as the non-legal man in this matchup. Oh, trying to go, trying to charge at Jackson Wade. Jackson Wade had a bit too much time to recover. And Nate Shield able to bounce back in his own right here. And Simon Ortiz is still in the ring. Referee, can you do your job and get this man out of the ring? I'm sorry, I got angry once already. I'm not trying to get angry again. I promise you. Anymore. And wait a minute. Two. Oh! Pounds by Nate, but Johnny Evil stepping in. Johnny Evil stepping in, of course, allowing Jackson Wade time to recover. That's the thing, that's the thing I gotta, uh, you can't, you can't really knock on the part of the top black boys. They work as a well-oiled machine. Between those three men, somebody's there. Somebody knows what to do. Somebody knows how to, how to handle business. And they all do it for that guy right there that's setting up with the spear. And Mr. Jackson Wade, and he just drilled. After we drill, Nate Shield with the spear. And Dwayne Frost able to get over there in time. Props to him. 
And now wait a second, trying to uh, Nate now, now, now Dwayne Frost is staying in the mid. We can Simon the team for doing it. Why not? Dwayne Frost can do it too. And I think Dwayne Frost about to take things a step further here. Dwayne Frost got Jackson in the worst possible way. Super play comes the top here. Talk about a turnaround as you are. If you are Dwayne Frost into the barricade goes. Yo, Jackson Wade, oh, right to the step. Make sure you're getting back in the ring. Tag and make Dwayne, that's smart. Got a chance to make a tag, go ahead, make a tag and let the other guy continue with offense. Jackson Wade, you can tell he's still feeling the effect of that brawl earlier. Now, wait a minute. And he's really going to be feeling the effect of this experience in the barricade. Talk about a way to wear down the world champion. The superplex to the outside. Following it up with that vicious spirit in the barricade. World champion may be in trouble. You can tell Nate's out of it. You got to finish this on your own, Dwayne. Ooh. The shoulder tackle right there. A vicious shoulder tackle by Dwayne. Back elbow. And him off the road, but he got ducks under. Oh, he's right to the face. He knows he got Jackson Wade in trouble, but he knows they're gonna take him. He knows they're gonna take him in to put this big man down. Oh, man. military press slam. Down goes Jackson Wade. Smart man dragging him all the way over to the other side. They're gonna cover the Simon Ortiz. Look on the draw, able to. Able to get in there and look at it. Oh, wow. Hopping right on top of a Jack Wade in a leg drop. He can call Wade on the back of his neck. He caught a. No, he caught. Oh. He's got to go for a. He's got to go for a tackle on Jack and Wade. And I think he caught his partner. He didn't like everything all good. And Wade is. He's a big boy. Yeah, he'll be all right. We're covering nicely here. Taking the fight to the world champion. And. And the world champion now is in a bit of trouble here. Wait a second. Ooh. Wayne catching on to that tag, catching on to that strategy. Realized he gave Jackson a bit too much space. Could have made the tag there. But Dwayne preventing, preventing that from happening. And, and given to the proximity of how close Black Assassins were in the relation to... I mean, us here at All Out Action definitely to apply your effort. I don't think Jackson Wade is going to appreciate taking an elbow to the neck. Ooh. I know he's probably going to want to kick Simon later on for that, but right now we're going to kick Wayne right in the mouth. And then again, he had time to recover. <laughs> shot right with the rim. Johnny, Johnny Evil. Oh! Right in the back of his neck, and I gotta say, Johnny Evil and Simon on for two young guys kind of making their way here in all our revolution. They have been absolutely dangerous, they have been a dangerous duo, and this all built on the fact that those two started with, with wrestling the fear of the matchup. And it seems like every single time Johnny was either, you know, getting the better of Johnny, got the better of Simon, but Simon being a student of the game picked up on Johnny and respected that, admittedly. We do form an alliance and run on the uh, Black Assassins here. Look at it. Oh, got Buster. Wayne in trouble. Now following it up with a drop kick. That is the side of the head here. Came off into the corner, off into the corner go. No, uh oh. Oh, wait a minute. We've seen him hit the before. Lights out. Oh, that the lights out, and that might be it. No, make sure they're able to get that one. Make sure they're able to, to break that up. And Jackson Wade ready to rock and roll, though. Taking Nate out of the equation. And now Simon Ortiz is going to continue to wear down Dwayne Frog. Oh, cannonball. Beautiful cannonball there. Now, wait a minute. Send Nate to the outside. Wayne is in a world of trouble. Wait a minute. Simon Ortiz 
got Naden in a big time injury here and a DDT on the apron. What a way to take out the competition. Shot to the back and now Aiden's going to choke him out. The Simon is going to let it go. Make it. Now, now what? They're looking good. I mean, Simon, the team got went off happy trouble. The run he has him. He has his head laid against the knee of the Jackson Wade. Look at this! Oh, a coaster cold. But with the knee of Jackson Wade being kind of used as a pillow in that case, that's not a good look. Wayne Frost, Wayne Frost might be knocked out here. Wayne Frost, maybe every bit of the word knocked out. And the spear from Jackson Wade, and wait a second, they see him jumping in. Oh, the knee immediately. He's put down straight into the cover. Back and wave. They have the one. He got it. Kelly. I play Warrior work like a well oiled machine. It was right there. But after that clothesline, definitely rocked him and rattled him and, and staggered him. And Pop Clap Warrior win. We're going to stop these guys. I'm telling you. As a unit, they're unstoppable. But we have, we're going to have to see how Jackson does solo. And that's it for All Out Revolution. Good night, everybody. Honolulu. <laughs>